Magandang umaga! Morning. 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 Morning! Welcome po sa ating mga kapatid, especially yes. Sister Lotti and Flora. Sister Flora. 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 Welcome to Only by Grace Church. The Church of the Living God. Yes. Okay, praise God. The Lord is gracious. Amen! Amen! Amen. Amen. Pakasabi sa katabi niya, The Lord is gracious. The Lord is gracious. The Lord is gracious. The Lord is gracious. <laughs> okay, I believe that last week you have learned about the life of the Apostle Paul, Paul through Divine Charisa. And today is our last Friday uh, to tackle again another ano, um, Bible character. So praise God, dahil meron tayong opportunity na maputo sa mga lessons na na-encounter ng mga Bible character dito. Pag may isang Bible character, they really existed before. Totoo po ito. Hindi lang ito parang kwento ng mga um, kwento ng mga bata, pero totoo po ito. At matututo tayo sa bawat pagsubok na nadaanan po nila. And praise God, kasi ito na naman yung opportunity na binigay ng Panginoon sa ating lahat. Ito ba? Are you all ready? Ready! Amen. So today, we will be studying about this great man. This man was so famous and he was full of courage. We will be, we will be talking about David. And let us discover why he was called a man after God's own heart. Amen? Praise God. So, sa mga kwentong pagdadaanan natin mamaya, matututo tayo kung bakit pala tinawag siyang a man after God's own heart. Okay, David is a shepherd boy. So, siya ang pinaka batang anak ni Jesse. Walang silang magkakapatid at siya yung pinaka bata. At since siya yung pinaka bata, ang duty niya is to tend his uh, father's ship. Lagi siya nag-aalaga ng mga tupa. And he loves doing it. Sa so, tuwing may nawawalang ano, isang tupa, kahit na isang tupa lang yan, talagang hahanapin niya. Ganun din yung, pang, yung, yung ugali ng Lord. Pag merong nawawala sa atin, hinahanap niya tayo. Hindi hindi, 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 hindi siya titigil hanggat nahanap niya, na ibabalik niya sa kanyang kawan. Amen? Amen? So, he was a shepherd boy, and apart from that, he was a harp player. Ang pastime niya, habang nagbabantay siya sa mga tupa, nag-play nag, uh, siya ng harp. Praise God. Kahit nung bata pa siya, makikita mo nang meron po siyang relasyon sa Panginoon. Kilala na niya ang Panginoon, si Yuhawe. Lagi siyang naka-incline. So, sa murang edad, na-train siya sa ganong um, ganong uh, sitwasyon. Lagi siya nag-aalaga ng, ng tupa. Ganun lang yung tingin ng mga kapatid niya sa kanya kasi bakit magigitin yung mga kapatid niya eh. Mga warriors. So siya, dahil nga pinakabata siya, yun lang ang kanyang trabaho. Utosan sa bahay ng tatay niya. Amen? So, kaya nga ganun ang um, kumbaga, physical na appearance ni David. During the kingship of King Saul, inanoint na siya ng Panginoon to be the next king of Israel. Amen? So, nung inutusan ng Panginoon si Prophet uh, Samuel, sabi niya, pumunta ka, pumunta ka sa sambahayan ni Jesse at i-anoint mo ang anak niya na next king. Sabi niya na. Ngayon nung nagpunta si Jesse, dun sa, ay si, si uh, Prophet Samuel sa bahay ni Jesse, sabi niya, Ah, uh, mandito ako para. So sinabi niya kung anong purpose niya kay Jesse. Ngayon ito na dumating na yung anak ni Jesse, si Eliab, yung pangalay. Sigurado ako, ito na yung pinili ng Panginoon kasi napaka makisig. So sabi ng sabi ni Lord, ni-review siya ni Lord. Hindi siya ang pinili kong maging hari. I have rejected him. So sino Lord? Sabi ng ni Samuel. Tinawag niya naman si Abinadab. Hindi na naman yung pangatlong anak, hindi yan naman. Hanggang sa pitong sons na ni Jesse ang uh, dumating sa bahay, hindi pa rin yun ang pinili ng Panginoon. So sabi ni Samuel, uh, wala ka na ba ibang anak? Ito na ba yung talagang anak? Sabi niya ganun. Meron pa yung pinakabunso, si David. 
Kaya lang nandun siya nag-aalagi ng mga tupa. Papuntahin mo siya dito ngayon din, sabi ni Samuel. So pagdating ni ano, ni, ni Samuel, inanoint niya si David para maging king of Israel. Sabi nga ng ano ng Lord, the man looks at the outward, outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart man. Mm -hmm. Nang tinitignan ng Panginoon yung puso natin, hindi yung physical na um, itsura. Amen? So, isa sa mga major milestones ni David ay yung pagkikipaglaban niya kay Goliath. Sila nga kakilala kay Goliath? Amen. 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 Si Goliath yung kaklas mo kaklas mo ng iban ka. Pwede ko ba yung tumama? <laughs> Ang buhay ko ng Kristiyano masaya. Praise <laughs> God. Amen. So, isa sa major milestone niya yung pakikipagdigma niya si, niya kay Goliath. So, si Goliath is a nine uh, feet tall na magiting na mandirigma ng Philistines. So, during sa, during sa kingship ni King Saul, yun talaga ang kumaga lumalaban or naghahamon sa hukbo ng Israel. Isa sa Israel is the chosen people of the Lord. So, noon pala ang establish ng Panginoon yun. So, Ayun na. Next slide. Sabi ni Goliath, nung nasa isang nasa battlefield na sila, nandito ang Israelites, nandito naman ang mga Philistines. So talagang hinahamon ni Goliath ang mga, ang mga, ang mga Israelita. Sabi niya, bakit nakahanay kayong lahat dyan para lumaban? Ako ang isang Filisteo at kayo na may mga alipin ni Saul. Sabi niya ganun. Pumili na lang kayo ng ilalaban sa akin kapag ako ay natalo, aalipinin nyo kaming lahat, ngunit kapag siya naman ang natalo, kayo ang aalipinin namin. Hinahamon ko ngayon ang hukbo ng Israel, pumili kayo ng ilalaban nyo sa akin. So yan, day and night, 40 days and 40 night, talagang tinuntuya-tuya ni Goliath ang mga Israelita. Si King Saul naman tap na takot along with Israelites. Kasi wala silang ano eh, alam nilang talagang champion si Goliath sa battle. Sa bawat um, battle talagang ipapanalo niya. So yun lang, hanggang sa dumating si, si, ano, si David, one day, sabi ni uh, Jesse sa kay David, Anak! Dalhin mo agad itong limang salok ng sinagag, sinagag na trigo at sampung tinapay sa iyong mga kapatid na nasa kampo. Dalhin mo itong suman. <laughs> suman sa lawai. <laughs> so yun, yun ang utos ni Jesse. Kasi ngayon tatlong kapatid ni, ano, ni, ni David kasama dun sa hukbo ni Saul para labanan si, ano, si Goliath. Ngayon, So, kinabukasan, maagang gumawang si David. So, pinagbili niya sa iba yung, yung mga tupang alaga niya. And then, nung dumating siya sa kampo, palusog na ang buong hukbo ng, ano, ng Philistines against the Israelites. Ano nga yung dalawang hukbo? Israelites. So, nang makita ni Goliath ang mga Israelita, I mean, nung, nung makita ng mga Israelita ang mga Goliath, nagkatakbo na naman sila. Kasi laki-laki niya eh. Sabi nung, ano, nung Israelite, Tignan ninyo siya. Pakinggan niyo ang kanyang mga hamon sa Israel. Sino mang makapatay sa kanya ay gagantin palaan ng hari. Bibigyan ng kayamanan ay ipapakasal sa prinsesa. So, willing si Saul na ipakasal yung anak niya sa sino mang makakatalo uh, kay Bulayan. At, hindi na pagbabayarin ng buwis. So, uno, uh, uh, uso na noon ang tax. <coughs> I declare, walang tax dito sa iyo. Eh. Amen! Amen. So, no, ano, dumating naman si David. Ay, kita niya si Goliath ng tinutuya-tuya ang mga Israelites. Sabi ni David, ano raw ang gantimpala sa sino mang makakapatay sa Philistine mo yun? Sabi niya, David asked, What will be done for the man who kills this Philistine and removes this disgrace from Israel? Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? Pwede ba niya yung gali ng ano ni David? Talagang in-honor niya yung pangalan ng Lord. Ayaw niya napapaya. So, hindi niya hinayaan na tinutuya-tuya alam ni Gulayat ang mga Israelites. The armies of the living God. Amen? So, ang ginawa ni ano, ang ginawa ginawa ni David, lumapit siya kay King Saul. Sabi niya, King Saul, ako na ang lalaban against Gulayat. 
Sabi naman ni King Saul, napakabata mo pa at napakaliit mo. Masiguradong matatalo ka against Goliath kasi talagang batik kang mantirigma na yan eh. Sabi ng ganun. Sabi naman ni, ano, ni uh, David, kumbaga, inano naman niya, full of courage, hindi pa rin siya kumbaga um, pumayag na kumbaga i-defy lang siya ni, ni, ni King Saul. So sabi ni David kay Saul, ako po ang nag-aalaga sa kawa ng aking mga ama, ng aking ama. So, sabi niya ganun, kapag ang isa sa mga tupang inaalagaan ko ay tinatangay ng leyon o oso, hinahabol ko po ito. At hinahawakan ko ito sa panga at pinapatay. Ang mga ninyo, ito. Sabi niya, nakapatay na po ako ng mga leyon, mga oso. At isasama ko po sa mga ito ang Filisteyong iyon sapagkat nilalait niya ang hukbo ng Diyos na buhay. Amen. Amen. Sabi ng gano'n niya, no? Ni David. So sabi niya, very confident siyang sinabi kay Saul, iniligtas ako ni Yahweh mula sa mga bangis na leyon at oso at alam ko na ililigtas din ako ng Panginoon ko against this Philistine. Sabi niya. So sabi naman ni, ni Saul, Okay di, sige, fight. Kasi <laughs> kung yan ang uh, sa tingin mo na rapat, patnubayan ka naman ni Yahweh. Sabi ng Saul. Ngayon, isuot mo itong ano, sword. Gamitin mo itong napalaking sword at suot yung baluti. Ngayon, so, sobrang liit nga ni, ni Saul, ni uh, David. Hindi niya halos may hakbang. Kasi ang bibigat kong ano, eh, talagang ilang, ilang kilo, ilang pounds yung, yung pananggal ang nabinigay ni Saul. Hindi ko na po kailangan ito. Sabi naman ni, ano, ni David. Ang 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 natatang armas lang niya ay yung sling, yung tirador at kumuha lang siya ng limang pato na makikinis. 5 stands for grace. So, nakikita niyo yung mga symbolism. Nandoon pa rin ang ano, kumbaga um symbol na nakita sa Lord and doon. So, sabi ni Goliat, ayan na, diyan na sila sa battlefield. Ayun, David's concern was not gain. <clears throat> nahuli lang siya. Hindi siya kumbaga nag-after yun sa tax or I mean sa free sa tax na hindi na siya makakabayad at doon sa pagpapakasal sa prinsesa. Kundi iniingatan niya yung honor ng Lord. Amen. Amen. So nung nandun na sila sa battlefield, nakita ni Goliath. Pakibasa nga po. In the world, And he despised him. He said to David, I am I at home that you come from me with sticks and from the inside first, David, by his house. Come here, he said, and I'll give your flesh to the birds and the wild animals. Sabi naman ni David. David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, Amen. the God of the armies of Israel. David, today I will deliver, you will be delivered into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Amen. Amen. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and He will give you into our hands. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Ano nakita niya? Grabe ang confident David, no? In courage niya, sabi niya, for the battle is the Lord's. Kaya ganon kalakas yung loob niyang sumabak kay Goliath, kasi alam niyang papagnubahan siya ng Panginoon. He is just dependent on the ability of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And nangyari may time ng Lord sa tuwing may mga challenges po tayo. The battle's not yours anymore. It's mine. So matuto po tayong kumbaga dumipende, mag-seek kay Lord. Lord, ito mga challenges na ito, I just surrender. Alam ko na able ka, alam, alam ko that you're moving, I know that you're true. You will forever sustain me. Amen. Kaya po yung ugaling uh, dapat na meron po tayo. Amen. We have to be confident in the Lord. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Okay. So David quickly ran out to meet Goliath. And then he reached into his shepherd's bag and taking out a stone. And then he hurled it with his leg. 
and hit the Philistine in the forehead. And the stone sank in, and Goliath stumbled down and fell face down on the ground. <laughs> so, nakita niyo ang victory niya? He was victorious because the Lord is with him. Amen. 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 So, alam niyo po ang javelin, the javelin and the sword, itong spare na to, symbolizes the human effort, human works. And, tayo naman, you know, we should be dependent on the ability of the Lord. Amen. Hindi sa sarili po natin kalakasan. Si Jana, diba yung, yung uh, kanyang testimony kanina, grabe yung, yung battle na meron siya. Pero nung ginawa niya, hindi naman siya nagsisigaw ng grabe or sobrang ano. Pero hinahayaan niya rin si Lord. He was, she was seeking kung anong next step na dapat niyang gawin. Amen. So, ganun po dapat tayo. Amen. Not by our own might, but by the power of God. By the Spirit of God. Amen. Talapakan ko natin sa mga. Okay, so kayo. Okay, first time. So, si David, he also served King Saul that time. So, sa tuwing tinotorment si King Saul ng evil spirit, kasi meron siya din isubay na kumand ng Panginoon. So, nagkaroon siya ng every now and then, Um, kumbaga na po possess siya ng, ng evil spirit. So, kumbaga para nagiging insane siya. Nagiging baliw. Nagiging disturb. So, sabi ng mga servant niya, kung gusto niyo ay kumuha kami ng, um, kumbaga, putugtog ng harwa para sa inyo. Para sa tuwing um, ito torment kayo ng evil spirit, kumbaga, mawawala yon. So, yun. Ang, 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 ang tinawag nila ay si David. So, si David, dahil nga siya ay very faithful, kahit na ma-assign din siya ng mga maliliit na, na task, talagang natuwa si, si King Saul sa kanya. So, ang ginagawa niya, pupunta siya sa, sa palasyo ni Saul para tumugtog ng harpa, gawin yung mga bagay na, ina, na inatang sa kanya, and then umuuwi din siya sa ta, kanyang tatay para mag-tend ng, 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 ng mga sheep ng kanyang tatay. So, Mula noon, sabi yung ganun dito. And so it was whenever and so it was whenever the spirit from God was upon Saul that David would take a harp and play it with his hand. Then Saul would become refreshed and well, and the distressing spirit would depart from him. Amen. Amen. So dahil diyan, David was praised for his achievements. Apart from naging harp player po siya sa palasyo ni Saul, isa rin siya naging um, mandirigma or warrior, isa sa mga hukbo ni King Saul. So sa tuwing may mga battle na ipapanalo niya. So he was praised for his achievements, for his character, kasi marunong din siyang makisama sa mga tao. So he was full of kindness, very passionate siya, nagiging matulungin siya sa mga Israelita. So tumang-tuwa yung mga tao sa kanya. And then there was one day, nung pabalik ni si, si King David from a battle, kasi nga victorious na naman siya, sabi ng mga... <coughs> Uh, babae, kumakanta sila. Sabi nila, Saul has slain his thousands and David is ten thousands. Ganun talaga ang doon. <laughs> so sabi ka doon, so narinig ni, ni, sorry naman, narinig ni, ni King Saul, sabi niya ganun, what's this, she said. They credit David with ten thousands and me with only thousands. Next day, next, next they'll be making him their king. So from that time on, Saul kept a jealous eye. David. Mula nung nagalit na siya kay David. Nagselos na siya. So, from that time on, he continued to pursue David. Gustong gusto niya talagang patay. Ilang beses, dalawang beses niyang um, binato ng javelin. Pero talaga nakakaiwas si David. So, tingnan natin kung anong ugali ni, ano, ni David sa sitwasyon na ito. So, even though gano'n ang ginagaw ni, ano, ni King Saul sa kanya, There was one time na tumakas na siya. And then si Saul naman, sumusunod pa rin. Habang nagpapayin niya si King Saul sa isang king. Sabi ganun nung... Sabi ganun nung um, kung mag-assistant ni David, oh, ito na yung chance para patayin natin si King Saul. Sabi, ganun. Sabi niya sa kanyang ano, assistant, the Lord forbid that I should do this to my Lord the King. I should not attack the Lord's anointed one, for the Lord Himself has chosen Him. 
Nagitan niyo pa ko galing niya. How he regard King Saul. Amen. Kasi ganun, naiintindihan niya na itong si King Saul, kahit na anong um, sama na ugali, inapon siya ng Panginoon. And I respect that. Amen. The same is true sa ating mga boss, ang employer. Kahit na anong uh, ganda na ugali. <laughs> Lord, maglihan sa lang tayo. Okay. So, it take, kumbaga, ma-inspire tayo or i, ma, matuto tayo sa karakter ni David. Amen. Kung paano ang ugali niya sa bawat si- sitwasyon na na-encounter ko niya. Amen. Amen. And then there was uh, one day na nag, uh, kumbaga, nagkita si David sa kasi King Saul. Sabi niya, My Lord the King, and he bowed down with his face on the ground. Nandun yung reverence, nandun yung respect niya. Kay King Saul. So, praise God, no? Kasi ganun po ang feeling ni ano eh. Ganun ang sineset aside ni David yung emotion niya. Alam niya kasi na si Lord ang makikidil dyan. So, si Lord ang makikidil sa mga boss natin. Lord, ikaw nang bahala. Amen. Umalakpak ang mga... Okay, yung mga lalaki dyan. Shout hallelujah! <laughs> Praise God! Praise, Praise God! Amen. Spirit of... Joy. Joy. Come alive! Amen! Okay. So, hindi talaga niyang ginalaw si King and King Soul. One day, si Lord ang magkikibili dyan. Siya nang bahala. Amen. So, isa sa mga karakter ni David, lagi niyang sinisik si Lord. Every time na merong battle, ako nang ginagawa, Lord, anong gagawin ko? Anong instruction mo? Sabi niyo rin, Should I chase after this band of raiders? Will I catch them? And the Lord told him, Yes, go after them, and you will surely recover everything that was taken from you. Amen. Amen. So, every battle, lagi siyang ganun, nag-i-incline siya, uh, naka- intertwined siya sa ano ng Panginoon. Ano ba ang gusto ng Lord? Anong will niya? Papaano ang instruction? Papaano ko tatanunin itong mga to? Kaya nga siya tinawag na ano eh, a man after God's own heart. Kasi, pag nina-imagine nyo, pag sinabing a man after God's own heart, parang nakalikit <coughs> sa ano ng, ng Lord. Nagsasubmit. Nagsisik. Di po ba? So, praise God. Kasi, kaya rin siya na, kaya niya na pagtatagumpay yung bawat battle kasi si Lord ang nag-advise eh. Nandoon yung guidance. Hindi ko ba? The same is true with us. So there was a time nung sina David at, at ang kanyang tropa, tropa. With his troops. <laughs> troops. <laughs> troops. <laughs> so ako na ikipagdigma sa Philistines. Ito namang mga amali, amali kita nilusob ang ziklag, yung place nila, ano, David. So, pagdating nila David doon, talagang nanghina sila and they were weeping. Dahil sulog na sulog yung kanilang place, yung mga asawa, yung mga anak nila, tinangay lahat ng mga, mga, mga amelikita. So, sabi ng mga tauhan ni, ano, ni David, patayin na rin kaya natin tong si David. So, blame him siya sa nangyari. Amen? But, you know, ano, alam, niyo, alam niyo po ang mabali ni, ni David? He found strength in the Lord. Amen. He found strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Like us, we will always find our strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Ano man ang mangyari, if forsake ka naman ng lahat ng mga kaibigan mo, lagi kang, dapat confident ka lagi, Lord, thank you. Kasi alam kong, you will always sustain me. You will never leave me nor forsake Amen. me. Amen. 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 <coughs> so, yun ang ginawa niya. Lord, anong gagawin ko? Okay, go after them and you will surely recover everything that was taken from you. So, ang ginawa nila, sinunda nila ang mga Amalekites. Amalekites. Kaya natin yung kwento. Pakibasa po. So, David and his six hundred men set out, and they came to the brook Besor, but two hundred of the men were too exhausted to cross the brook. So, David continued the pursuit of the army. Pero, 200 of them were so, uh, too exhausted, so naiwan sila. 
So, ilan na lang natira? 400. Very good pupils. <laughs> so, 400 na lang yung kasama ni David. And then, they, they have invaded the Amalekites and they have destroyed them. Everything na kinuha ng mga Amalekita, mga asawa, anak, lahat ng mga ari-arian, mga kumpa, uh, goats, nakuha nilang lahat. Nabawi po nilang lahat. And even yung mga ari-arian ng mga Amalekites, nakuha rin nila. So, they have gained more. Naging, lalo pa silang naging um, prosperous. Amen. Amen. So, anong nangyari dun sa 200 na napagod? <laughs> David among his men rushed in among them and then slaughtered them throughout that night and then and the entire next day until evening. And then none of the Amalekites escaped except for 100 young men who fled in camels. So, nagapi nila David ang mga Amalekita. Amen. So David got back everything the Amalekites had taken, and he rescued his two wives, si Abigail sa kasi Ahinoam. Nothing was missing, small or great, son or daughter, nor anything else that had been taken. Imagine, grabe no? Pag talaga nagsik ka sa Lord, anong gagawin mo? Amen. Amen. Mag uh, magiging victorious ka talaga. So David brought everything back, and he also recovered all the flocks and herds, and his men drove them ahead of the other livestock. Sabi niya, this plunder belongs to David. So they were celebrating. They were uh, full of joy. Amen. <laughs> and then David returned to the brook Besor and met up with the 200 men who had been left behind because they were too exhausted to go with them, with him. And then they went out to <coughs> David and his men and David greeted them joyfully. Tuwang tuwa pa rin. Excited pa rin si David na imig itong 200 na ito. So sabi naman, but some evil troublemakers among David's men said, Bakit natin isi-share itong plunder natin? Itong mga nakuha natin sa kanila? Hayaan nyo na lang, ibigay nyo na lang yung mga asawa at anak nila at paalisin na lang sila. Ganun yung ginawa ng mga ibang kasamahan ni David. Typical lang na ugali ng tao. Madamot. Hindi ba ba? Wala namang ganun dito. Amen! Amen! Amen. So, May kita ko yung typical na attitude nila sa atin din minsan na sometimes we think that we are better than the other. Mas nag-effort ako kaysa sa kanya. Mas marami akong ginawa kaysa sa kanya. <coughs> Pero ang will ng Lord, tayo po kasi pantay-pantay lang sa mata niya eh. Amen. Bahan niya po tayo lahat. So ang will ng Lord, lahat tayo mag-partake sa bawat blessing na binigay niya. Amen. 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 Mag-prepare ka man ng suman, maglinis ka, maglagay ka ng mga agilog dyan. Tuwang-tuwa ang Lord. The Lord is so pleased. Amen. At ganun po yung galing ni David. Amen. So praise God. Palakpakan po natin si Lord. Sabi niya gano'n, No, my brothers, don't be selfish with, with what the Lord has given us. Ina-acknowledge niya pa rin na Ang lahat ng mga bagay na ito ay galing lang sa Panginoon. Amen. He has kept us safe and helped us defeat the band of the raiders that attack us. Who will listen when you talk like this? We share and share alike. Those who go to battle and those who guard equipment. So, pantay-pantay lang yan. So, from then on, David made this a decree and regulation for Israel and it still followed today. Amen. Amen. So, napaka, David is a generous person. Ganun siya. Napaka nga pagbigay po niya. Okay, so, there was one day na meron ding na-disobey si David. Sa isa sa mga commandments ng Lord. So, ang nangyari, nagbigay ng pag-salot ang Panginoon. So, to counter that, kailangan mag-offer ni David. Kailangan niyang gumawa ng, ano, ng altar. Okay, pakisiko nga po yung kapatid, ay yung katabi mo. Okay ka lang. <laughs> massage mo na, massage. Wow, wow. Okay, wow. okay. Okay ka lang. Massage sa kaliwa, kaliwa. 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 So David came to Orna. Actually, ito yung patuluyan ng uh, giving exhortation ni Sister Jana. David came to Orna, and then Orna looked and saw David. 
and he went out from the threshing floor, and he bowed before David with his face to the ground. Amen. So, grabe mo galing ni Ornan sa king, no? Ganun yung reverence po nila. All the more, ganun din po yung reverence natin kay Lord. Amen. Siya nga king lang yan sa ano, kumbaga sa physical, eh. What more yung king of kings. Amen. So, ganun din po yung more than that, yung reverence na dapat natin bigay sa Lord. Amen. So, threshing floor. Ano ba tong threshing floor na to? Ito yung giika ng palay. So, it's a land. So, gustong, uh, gustong bilhin po ni David yung lupang ito para mag-build siya ng altar. Sabi ka nun ni Ornan, uh, sabi ni David, Grant me this place that I may build an altar on it to the Lord. You shall grant it to me at the full price that the plague may be withdrawn from the people. Sabi ka nun. But Ornan said to David, Take it to yourself, my Lord, and do what is good in his in your eyes. Look, I also give you the oxen for burnt offerings, the threshing floor, the threshing implements for wood, and the weight for the grain offering. I give it all, said King Ornan. Then King David said to Ornan, No, but I will surely buy it for the full, full price, for I will not take what is yours for the Lord, nor offer burnt, burnt offerings with that which cost me nothing. Amen. Grabe siya, no? Grabe siya maghandog kay Lord. Sabi niya, hindi ako magbibigay ng, ng bagay na hindi akin at walang halaga. Tayo po ba? Paano tayo magbibigay kay Lord? Nasukat po natin yung pagmahal, pagmamahal natin kay Lord. Kung paano tayo magbibigay. The Lord is not a ship God. Amen. Hindi tayo magbibigay ng kira-kira po na to. Because everything that we have comes from Him alone. Amen. 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 He deserves the best. Amen. Palakpakan nga po natin. Palakpakan nga po natin. Because when we talk about giving, we're not just, we are not just talking about the financial giving. Amen. Amen. Yung service mo, ano ba yung mga bagay na talagang napaka-importante sa'yo? Kaya mo po bang bitawan for the Lord? Amen. The things that are against His will? Siguro yung iba sa atin, wala pa tayo sa ganung level. Pero eventually, matututupo tayo. Kasi mas mag-grow na po yung pagbabahan natin kay Lord. Pag natuto na tayo magmahal, madali na lang po magbigay. Amen. Amen. So, um, habang tumatagal ay lalong nagiging makapangyarihan si David. Amen. So, nag, uh, lalong na-establish yung kanyang kingdom. So, he was even built a uh, palace at doon natiyak ni David na ang pagiging hari niya sa Israel ay pinagtibay ng Panginoon. So, ganoon din po tayo. Pinagtibay ng Lord yung kingdom that is for us. The kingdom, the kingdom that is eternal. Amen. So, Praise God, kasi ganun yung, um, ganun tayo, in-establish ng Lord. Nung si David ay na-appoint as king, grabe yung kanyang mga pre-prepare for him. Blessings, palace, and all. Lahat ng material na bagay, na pa ba? Halos wala nang hihilingin si David. Amen. So, nung nahil siya as king sa Israel, sumugod, sumugod na naman ang mga Philistines na ito. So, sabi ni, ano, ni, ni David, Lord, ano bang gagawin ko? Nag-inquire na naman siya. Turuan mo ako kung anong dapat kong gawin. And I will obey. Okay. So, he was an extravagant giver. Amen. Amen. Ganon din po tayo. Amen. 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 So, sabi niya ganon, David realized that the Lord had confirmed him as king over Israel and had blessed his kingdom for the sake of his people Israel. He inquired, Should I go out to fight the Philistines? Will you hand them over to me? The Lord said, Yes, go ahead. I will certainly hand them over to you. So David went to Baal Perazim and defeated the Philistines there. Again, naging victorious po siya. And then David exclaimed, The Lord did it again! He burst through my enemies like a raging flood. So he named that place Baal Perazim, which means the Lord who burst through. Amen. So he gives back all the glory to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God, you know, kasi ganun din po tayo, in everything that we do, we should always give back 
the glory. Amen. 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 Sabi ng ganon ng ano ng pagabe, nung may dalas si kapag na date na tinapay. Thank you, thank you, Dave. Ah, sabi ng ganon natin jana. Ang sagot ni Brother Dave, ah, uh, Dave. Ang sagot ni Brother Dave, trailer po yan. <laughs> so, kung baka binabalik niya, sa maliit na bagay, makikita mo na binabalik yung, yung glory kay Lord. Amen. At tuwang-tuwa ang Lord doon. Amen. Amen. So, salamat sa mga buhay niyo kasi even Amen. yung pagpunta dito, talagang the, the Lord is glorified. Yung pagpukuyat, ang mga kapatid po natin, pag-prepare ng mga upuan, pag-alagay ng mga sobre, pag-aalis ng mga slides, pag-amap ng floor. Salamat kasi it's all for the glory of the Lord. Amen. 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 So, there was a time na ibinalik na yung Ark sa Israel, sa Jerusalem. So, the Ark of Covenant or the Ark of God represents the presence of the Lord. So, tumang-tuwa sila. Sabi nga ni David, The Lord has blessed Obed Edom's household and everything he has because of the Ark of God. So, David went there and brought the Ark of God from the house of Obed Edom to the seat of David with a great celebration. After the men who were carrying the, the ark of the Lord had gone six steps, David sacrificed a bull and a fatted calf. And then David danced before the Lord with all his might, Amen. wearing Amen. a priestly garment. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. Amen. They were leaping, they were dancing with joy because they balik na finally yung ark of the covenant sa Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. Ito na mga asawa ni David, oh. na si Michael, as uh, anak ito ni Saul. As the ark of the Lord entered the city of David, Michal, the daughter of Saul, looked down from her window. When she saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, she was filled with contempt for him. Baga dinispice niya si David na. Nakikita niyang sumasayaw si David na parang insane, parang baliw. And then David returned home to bless his own family. Michal, <coughs> the daughter of Saul, came out to meet him. Sabi ni Michal, How distinguished the king of Israel looked today, shamelessly exposing himself to the servant girls like any vulgar person might do. Ano ba naman yung ginagawa mo ang nakakahiyan sa baba? Sabi ni Michal, sa kanyang asawa, sabi ni David, Yes, and I am willing to look even more foolish than this, even to be humiliated in my own eyes. But those servant girls you mentioned will indeed think I am distinguished. Amen. Kung ganyan ang tingin mo sa akin, alam ko na itong mga servant girls na ito, I am honored. I am willing to uh, look more foolish than this. I worship ko lang. Mabigyan ko lang ng thanksgiving ang aking Panginoon. Amen. So he's a worshiper. Hindi siya nahiya, kahit na ganun kataas yung rango niya, Amen. kahit he was a king, hindi siya nahiyang magsasayaw for the Lord. Amen. Kaya nga tayo pag, sumantag, pag nag-worship, wala tayong pakailam sa mga katabi natin, di ba ba? Tataas tayo ng kamay, with all our might, lumulugod po tayo. Because we know, we acknowledge Him. He is holy. He is a great God. That's the reason why we are worshiping Him. Amen. And he's the reason why we are here. Amen. Sino ba ang nagbigay po sa atin ng lakas? Sino ang nagbigay sa atin ng buhay? Jesus. It's him. So we are giving back all the glory to the Lord. Amen. Amen. You're okay pa po? Amen. So he was a worshiper. Pero may downfall din po si David. Nung nagkasala po siya with Bathsheba. There was one afternoon, Habang walang ginagawa si David sa kanyang palasyo, may nakita siya si Bathsheba na talagang she was so pre, uh, she was so beautiful at talagang talagang ano <laughs> it's tempting parang ganun. So sabi ni David, he sent someone to find out who she was and he was told, she is Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam and the wife of Uriah, the Hittite. Then David sent messengers to get her, and when she came to the palace, he slept with her. So, may nangyari. And then, after that, nagbunga yung kasalanan ko nila. But she probably came pregnant. So, trinay pa ni David na i-cover yung sin na ito. 
kung mga pinauwi niya si Uriah from the war na alam mo yung okay go home with your wife kasi kaya to ganyan na uh, inutusan pa niya to uh, for him to be with uh, Bathsheba para sa ganun kumbaga siya yung nakabuntis kay Bathsheba <coughs> si Uriah pa rin para ma-cover up yung kasalanan na ginawa kalokohan and so hindi nga nag-succeed the third attempt na ginawa niya nagpadala siya ng message kay Joab Station Uriah on the front lines where the battle is fought. <coughs> then pull back so that he will be killed. Plinano niyang ipapatay si Uriah. So Joab assigned Uriah to a spot close to the city wall where he knew the enemy's strongest men were fighting. And when the enemy soldiers came out of the city to fight, Uriah the Hittite was killed along with several other Israelite soldiers. So namatay si Uriah. After that, nagmourn si ano? si Bathsheba. Pagkatapos ng morning time, morning period, nagpunta ni si Bathsheba, pinakuha na siya ni David sa kanyang palace at ginawa niyang kasawa. So, ganun po yung nangyari. But this thing, <coughs> David had done, displeased the Lord. Hindi yan nakaligtas sa paningin ng Panginoon. He was so displeased. So, Ah, uh, inutusan ni ano, ni ni ng Panginoon si Prophet Nathan kay David and he rebuked him. Sabi niya ganun, a message ng Lord sa kanya, I have anointed you king of Israel and save you from the power of Saul. I gave you your master's house and his wives and the kingdoms of Israel and Judah. And if that had not been enough, I would have given you much, much more. Amen. Sana nagsabi ka na lang, marami pa akong gustong ibigay. Kesa yan pang ginawa mo, pinakay mo ang walang, kuma, walang malay na si Uriah. Para lang maasawa si Tachina. And because of what you have done, I will cause your own household to rebel against you. And I will give your wives a children <coughs> before your very eyes. And he will go to bed with them in public view. You did it secretly, but I will make this happen to you openly in the sight of all Israel. Then David confessed to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. <coughs> Nag-repent si, si uh, David. Sabi nga na ni Nathan, Yes, but the Lord has forgiven you, and you won't die for this sin. Nevertheless, because you have shown other contempt for the word of the Lord by doing this, your child will die. There was a punishment. Namatay po yung anak ni Labashiba. So, ang titigyan po natin dyan, yung repentance ng, ni David. So, the true repentance is matched by the Lord's forgiveness. Okay, nagkasala ka, pero pinapatawad ka ng kayo. But, merong consequences. Sabi nga, the, the, the wages of sin is death. So kung may meron kang nagawang kasalanan, expect na meron consequence yan. Kahit pa mahal na mahal ka ng Lord, meron at meron consequence. But one thing is for sure, the Lord is always willing to help us. Amen. Sabi nga nun yan, okay. So, the, the time na nag-repent po si, si David, he was so humble, he was so submissive. So, yan po yung mga characters ni David. He committed sin and he was uh, guilty of great offenses. Pero, unlike Saul, he was obedient. Hindi siya nag against God. Amen. Kaya sabi ng Lord, I have found David, son of Jesse, after my own heart, who will do all my will mismo ang tumawag sa kanya. A man after my, after my own heart. Amen. Kaya dyan po nang galing. That's why he was called a man after God's own heart. So, ang mga consequences ng mga kasalanan niya, si Absalom, sarili niyang anak, overthrown him. Pinagtangkaan yung buhay ni David hanggang sa yung, uh, umalis na siya sa Jerusalem just to escape yung threat ng sarili niya anak. So, <coughs> sabi nga nun, diba, uh, your family will live by the sword because you have despised me, sabi ng Lord sa kanya. And four of his sons ay namatay dahil sa sword. Through 
sa patalim. So ang sabi ng Lord, di ba, sa sambahayan mo, ibibigay ko sa iba ang iyong mga asawa, ginawa mo ito ng lihim, pero gagawin ko ito ng hayag before your very eyes. So yan po yung mga consequences. And then, uh, David, uh, David's battles did, did not end up sa kanyang kingship, kundi sa mga surrounding nation, and all the more sa kanyang household. Grabing challenges na pinagdaanan po ni David. But despite of the sins that he has committed, God assured him that he would continue to make his name great. Amen. Sabi niya, on all the earth and he would forever establish his throne to David's son, si Solomon. So, praise God. So, sabi ni, ano, sabi ni David, ang desire niya is to build a temple for the Lord. But, na-deny itong request niya dahil sa kasalanan na nagawa ko ni David. Amen. Sabi niya, hindi ikaw ang magtatayo ng temple ko, kundi ano ang anak, si Solomon. So, ito po yung covenant ng Lord kay David. Despite of the sins that he have committed, nandun yung covenant. Pag sinabi, sinabi po natin covenant, hindi po yan mapuputol. Ito yung promise ng Lord eh. Amen. It's a lifelong. David, uh, the Lord has declared, I took you from tending sheep. Listen to this, to this mga kapatid. Amen. Take this na covenant ng Lord sa atin. Hindi lang kay David, kundi sa atin din po. I-personalize din po. I took you from tending sheep in the pasture and selected you to be the leader of my people, Israel. Ano po ba ang past natin noon? Hello? Kung nasa na po tayo ngayon. I have been with you wherever you have gone and I have destroyed all your enemies before your eyes. Now I will make your name as famous as anyone who has ever lived on the earth. I will provide a homeland for my people, Israel. We are the Israel. We are the new generation of Israel. Planting them in a secure place where they will never be disturbed. Evil nations won't oppress them as they have done in the past, starting from the time I have appointed judges to rule my people, Israel. And I will give you rest from all your enemies. Amen. And furthermore, the Lord declares that He will make a house for you. I die, a dynasty of kings, sabi ba ng kaunong. For when you die and are buried with your ancestors, I will raise up one of your descendants, your own offspring, and I will make his kingdom strong. He is the one who will, be, who will build a house, a temple for my name, and I will secure his royal throne forever. I will be his father, and he will be my son. If he sins, I will correct and dis discipline him with a rod, like any father would do. But my favor will not be taken from him as I took it from Saul, whom I removed from your sight. Your house and your kingdom will continue before me for all time, and your throne will be secure forever. Amen. 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 That's how the Lord also established us. In establishing yung kingdom natin, we'll always be secured with His faithfulness. Everything provision, protection, preservation, mga challenges na yan, He will take care of it. Amen. It's the covenant of the Lord with us. <coughs> and then, si, ano, si David, he was so over, overwhelmed. And then he just prayed. Let's all uh, read. For you have your people, Israel, your very own people forever. And you, Lord, have the covenant Now, O Lord God, the word which you have spoken concerning your servant and concerning his house, establishing forever, and do what you have said. So let your name be magnified forever, saying, The Lord of hosts is God over Israel, and let the house of your servant David be established before you. For you, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, have revealed this to your servant, saying, I will be Ni Harik David, ako po at ang aking pamilya ay hindi karapat dapat sa lahat ng kabutihan ginawa niya sa akin. We are all undeserving of the Lord's blessing. Sino po ba tayo? Kung inuuyawin, maaaring malikit na bagay lamang ito sa inyong paningin. 
Subalit napakalaki para sa amin sapagkat tiniyak na ninyo ang magandang kalagayan ng sambahayan. Sambahayan ko para sa hinaharap. Wala na akong masasabi sapagkat kilala ninyo ang inyong lingkod. Ayon sa inyong pangako, niloob niyong maging dakila ang inyong lingkod. Napakadakila mo, Panginoong Yahweh. Wala pa kami nababalita ang Diyos na tulad ninyo. Ikaw lamang ang Diyos. Amen. There is no one like our God. Amen. Amen. Wala nang wala na siyang katulad. So nakita po ninyo na despite of all the sins that he has committed, he was still restored by the Lord. May mga consequences throughout his life, but the blessings, yung preservation ng Lord is way greater than all these challenges. Amen. Ganun din po tayo. So, praise God kasi we stand in the confidence na whatever happens, alam ko ganun, ganun yung destiny ko. Hindi ko man nakikita specifically kung anong future ko, but I know that I am secured Amen. by the Lord, Amen. by His faithfulness. <clears throat> so, I will leave you with this verse. I'm closing up. Can you read? Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, go on to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. So, whatever we do, either we eat or drink, gumawa ng malik na bagay, But just, you know, we're just giving back all the glory to the Lord. Amen. Amen. So in conclusion, hindi po nasulat yung, yung buhay ni David sa Bible para i-idolize siya. But we reflect on it. We learn from it. Amen. Na maging, Lord, ganun pala dapat ang maging reaction namin sa bawat sitwasyon na nakaharap po namin. That we should always seek you. Na maging, alam mo yun, laging nakatuon sa'yo, naging, laging naka-incline. So we reflect from it, we learn from it, with, from the life of David. And may mga times na we are weak, may mga times na madata pa tayo, but stand up. Try again. Hindi tayo magpapakondyam na nagkamali na naman ako, ito na naman yung mga sins na nagawa ko. Stand up. And your identity. Alam nyo, you should be confident na pinatawad na tayo ng Lord sa mga kasalanan natin. Amen. And we can surpass surpass all these um, challenges or yung mga ungodly things that we do. Because Amen. we have this enabling power. Binigay na ng Lord yan. Amen. Kaya ang sinasabi ng Lord, you are able kasi yung power na sa inyo eh, binigay na niya yan. Amen. Hindi siya magkukumalag ng bagay na hindi na, na alam niyang hindi natin, natin kayang gawin. Amen. So, praise God kasi we stand on the um, confident na nandun yung covenant ng Lord. Amen. It's eternal and it's everlasting. Amen. So, praise God for every situ- situation na uh, nanatututut po tayo, binibigyan po natin lahat ng glory kay Lord. Amen. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, let us all desire and have this heart, a heart after God's own heart. Amen. Palakpakan <laughs> po natin siya. Ang Lord po natin is so gracious. Amen. Amen. And He is opening His, His home. Let's all stand.